Good evening and welcome to Carter's Shed. No messing about with this one, let's just jump straight in to fit in the Nutrix PowerCon True One cable connectors to some of my power tools. I will go into some of the reasons why I'm fitting these connectors at the end of the video. But to start with, I'm cutting all my cables to 120mm. The outer insulation will then need to strip back 20mm from that cut. Now I'll just use the knife to lightly score around the outside of the insulation. I don't want to press too hard or cut right through the outer insulation as this would risk cutting into the insulation of the inner cores. This inner insulation must stay intact and undamaged to ensure a safe electrical connection. Now that I've scored the cable, I just bend the insulation back over itself and the outer sheath should separate quite easily. Here's a quick little tip. If the insulation isn't wanting to separate, a couple of bits of sandpaper either side and give it a quick pull. Now I will remove 8mm of insulation from each of the inner cores. This 8mm will fit down into the terminals of the connector which you'll see a little later. I use a wire stripper set to the correct gauge for the inner cores to ensure that I'm only removing the insulation and none of the strands are damaged or removed with the insulation. I can then twist the strands of the inner core together so that they do not bunch up like a birdcage when they are inserted into the terminal layer. Now I'm ready for the connector. I'm making sure that I'm installing the male connectors onto my tools as this connector has exposed pins that you can touch if you are daft enough to sink your fingers in to the connector. By installing the male connectors on the tool side this ensures that the pins can never be touched while energised. So the first part of the connector to go on is the part which has the rubber gland. This gets pushed onto the cable with the gland towards the tool. Next I slide the cable retaining clamp on with the legs or clamps towards the tool. When the connector is screwed together the legs will clamp down onto the outer insulation and hold it securely in place. Now I can insert the inner cores into the correct terminals. Each terminal is clearly marked either live, neutral or earth. All my tools are double insulated so I don't have an earth to connect. The terminals on this connector are actually really nice. They're pretty deep so that 8mm of inner core slips in no problem at all and I have none of the uninsulated cable out with the terminal. The cores are secured using a Torx T7 bit so you can get plenty of pressure to ensure a nice secure connection. Now I can just bring all four parts of the connector together. They are all keyed individually so that it can only fit together one way, the correct way. And that's the first one done. I will be using the system quite a bit throughout the shed so you can expect to see some further use of it but maybe in a slightly different way in the future. I should make it clear that by chopping off the cable of my tools I avoided any warranty that they may have had. I'm comfortable with this as well as modifying and personalising my tools. But this is something that might not sit well with yourself. So just bear that in mind if this is something you're thinking about doing. So why have I fitted these connectors? Well, the first reason is that it makes storing my corded power tools a lot easier. I don't have to wrap or unwrap the cord when I go to use the tool or put it away. Number two would be by having the power and dust collection attached together. This means I'm going to be less likely to forget 
or be too lazy to turn the dust collector on. So that's a win for my lungs. Reason 3. If I have got a few corded tools out at once, now I don't have a bunch of cables causing a tripping hazard on the floor. Here you can see the cable that would be live that's supplying the power tools. And you can see that there's no way of putting your finger down into that connector. So here you can see the connectors that have got fit to the tools and you can see those exposed pins. So that's why you'd want, never want those connectors to be live when you can have it split like that. I have got another use uh, for these connectors in mind for the shed so if you want to see what that is click subscribe but for now thanks for watching and good evening. Three, two, one, action. Introduces that rubbish red challenge. No, I'm not introducing it. I'm entering it. Go. Why? Try again. Carter said introducing.